Hey, what's going on, y'all? So, day two out here in Miami, um, down South Beach right now. I'm about to find me a nice place to get something to eat, uh, treat myself to a decent meal. Um, had a decent time last night. We went out, chilled, met up with a couple people. Um, popped myself a couple of my friends down here on the Humble. So, we're gonna end up kicking it and doing all that. So, I can't go to the Bahamas because of all of this what's going on, but they do got this thing out of the Florida Keys, which I already been, but I didn't do the um, swim with the dolphins, so I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. And we're just gonna kick it today. Um, shit got hectic last night, so we cut it in a little early. I did go down Tootsie's though after I left the office and kicked it. I ain't recorded because I ain't thinking anybody been this, but. But this is what I want to say though. Um, what's a message to the uh, young cats? If I was 18, if I was 18 again, right, and I was starting off fresh, I would go to diesel mechanic school. Diesel mechanic school is about a year and a half, right? Because you can't leave the state with the CDL if you're under 21. If I was 18, I would go to diesel mechanic school, learn the mechanics of the truck, and get prepared so when I get my CDL, I'll be able to fix my own truck, um, do some light duty mechanics on it. It'll save you thousands of dollars. And while I was in diesel mechanic school, I would get a job at the truck stop so I can get familiar with truckers and everything that goes on in that world, get to talk to people and start building up my knowledge of the industry while I'm doing that, right? By the time you finish diesel mechanic school, you'll be 20, right? You go get your CDL, um, get your CDL, go on the road for six months. After six months, I will immediately become an owner operator. Right, a company driver gonna make between nine and twelve hundred dollars a week. On the operator, make what twenty five hundred, three thousand a week. I would do that for six months. After doing that for six months and saving three to five hundred dollars a week, I would go and get my own truck, become uh, operate my own authority. That's where you make the five to seven thousand dollars a week, but. With you having the knowledge of light duty mechanics that you learned from school, with you having the six months of experience of driving so you don't jump out there, get your own truck and fuck it up and start costing yourself thousands of dollars on, on small minor mistakes you could have missed out on. With you becoming an owner operator underneath a company that will support you in the breakdowns, even though they charging you back, they, they gonna take it out of your account, but you, you got a cushion so you don't get out there, put all the money you got in the game and then get a major breakdown and then you done lost everything you worked for. But by the time you be done did that, you got your own authority. You jump out there with your own authority, you be making $5,000, $7,000 a week. You say, you do that for a year, don't get no drivers. Don't run out there and get no drivers. You do that for a year, say $1,000 a week, right? You say 50000 for that first year. All right, now you 23, 24 maybe, depending on how old you was when you started. Then you come home, get you a few trucks you can work local, but you got that cushion of that 50,000 that you saved while you was out there traveling. And don't take your money while you have that cushion. The, the magic formula is 10,000. If you can keep $10,000 per unit, you'll never go out of business. Um, and that could be either cash or credit, because a major breakdown they don't happen often. Most of the stuff you'd be able to handle with a couple hundred dollars, maybe a thousand, fifteen hundred. Every now and then something major happen that cost you thousands. Or if you get caught on the road out of town. Hold on, let me um clear this thing here. You get caught out of hey. Yeah, I dressed up. I'm waiting on her to get out of the shower, but we we, we dressed in a few seconds. All right, so, yeah, so 
I'm down South Beach. I just found somewhere to park. I'm gonna um go check some stuff out. Then uh, we can grab something to eat once she once she get ready or whatever. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, I ain't wanna. We met last night down tushies. Um. So you had that cushion. I'm saying trucking is a is an excellent industry to be in. Because you get cash on demand. Like real estate is good to be in. Um, but you're not going to get paid weekly the thousands of dollars. You'll become wealthy and you'll be able to build equity and all. I'm all for it. But in my own personal opinion, there's no industry that's going to allow you to get in it with as small amount of time. You can get your CDL within a 30 day time period. You In some states, you don't even have to go to school. Uh, to get your CDL. If you can pass the test and if you got somebody that has a truck that's willing to take you up there, you don't even have to uh, go to school. So you can actually do the whole thing for free or you can get your CDL for free at a major company that train you in three to four weeks and then you immediately go to work for them. You can lease purchase a truck with no money down by becoming an owner operator. That'll get you making 2,500, 3,000 a week. That'll put you in a position to save 10, 15,000 so you can go buy your own truck, activate your authority, and get out there and do everything 100% independent where you, that's where the money is at and that's where the freedom is at as well. The owner operator is a dangerous position because it's so comfortable. You can live a decent life as an owner operator and you'll fall back and want to stay there because things will be going good and you don't want to stay there because that's always the next level. And besides that, excuse me for picking my note, besides that, the owner operator make 70%, 75%. Some of them get a little bit more if they got a, uh, a better position with the company or the company offering a better deal. But the thing about it is they never show you what they bill a customer. So how can you tell if they paying you correctly? You understand what I'm saying? That's why I, I'm, I'm transparent. So every morning I show y'all what the lows pay as I'm looking for lows. Those are real lows from the low bull. Anybody can can sign up and get on there if you got an MC or a DOT number. It only costs $50. Um, but I want people to be able to see what's going on. And I'm specifically marketing towards individuals that's even in prison about to get out. Um, you in the game and you trying to figure out what to do, how to get out. You want to continue the same lifestyle, but you don't know how to supplement that income because it's, it, it's a hard transmit, transition to make, to be able to come from making thousands of dollars and having things the way you want it to work in a nine to five or starting a business and you still got to go through that building clout stage where you're building up your customers until you can get a return on your investment. Trucking is like instantaneous. So that's why I'm so in favor for it. And also the guy that's out there, you know, don't know what to do. You know, you want to do something like this. Is, you don't have to go to college for no eight years. Be hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt, $50,000 in school debt. And then as soon as you get out of school, you still got to convince somebody to give you a job. And once you do convince somebody, you starting at an entry level position. So every industry you get into, you got to pay your debt. I got to get out of here, y'all. Um... Another thing, that's the 18 year old, the married couples, anybody that's out there, if you married and you, your kids is grown, this is the thing to do. You go out there and get you a decent truck, a decent one, um, that's comfortable, clean on the inside, reliable. A team make between 10 to $12,000 a week on a consistent basis. I'm talking every single week, a minimum. All right, a brand, I'm, a brand spanking new truck is truck no three thousand dollars a um a uh, three thousand dollars a month. You making ten twelve thousand dollars a week as a team collectively? Y'all can afford to save twenty five hundred dollars a week for a year and come back home and have over a hundred thousand dollars and do whatever you want to. Um, but I'm gonna talk more about this. It's, I'm in the middle of everything. I'm about to get my ass up out of here and enjoy this this time I got down here. I got paid to come down here, and um, you know I'm about to start showing y'all the ins and outs 
of the trucking, but all the stuff that goes along with it. This is a whole entire complete lifestyle. I mean, everywhere you see me on any uh, picture I done show, and all those pictures are from, I always take ones from a year and bring them up to date because I've been doing this for a minute. I'm just bringing y'all up to speed. But, you know, you can really live an amazing lifestyle in the trucking industry. You can make thousands of dollars. You can travel the country at free of cost. Um, try all different types of foods. Go to all different types of restaurants. Meet all type of interesting people and, and build a network of connections all across this country. Your network is your net worth. I mean, I can call people all over this country in all different time zones and make stuff happen. So I'll get with y'all in a minute. Well, let me get out of here. Peace.